I call the next part of the dinner special podcast the pressure cooker. I'm going to ask you seven fast and fun questions that we want to know your answers to. Are you up for it? <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, number one, which food shows or cooking shows do you watch? Okay, obviously I watch Mind of a Chef and Chef's Table and Great British Break Bake Off. Who doesn't love that? Uh, but recently my favorite is called I'll Have What Phil's Having on PBS with mm -hmm. Phil Rosenthal. It's so, so, so funny. Oh, cool. I haven't heard of that one, so I'll, I'll definitely uh, YouTube that. You're going to love it. His first one is in uh, Japan, which has been fun for me because I just started working for a restaurant group that owns a ramen ya, and um, I'm just now learning about Japanese ingredients. So it was fun to watch him go and try everything that I'm learning about. Cool. Uh, number two, what are some food blogs or food websites we have to know about? Um... I'm assuming everyone knows about Molly Yeah. Everyone loves Molly Yeah. She's so funny and so sweet. Um, and I'm just a super huge, huge, major fan girl of Lady and Pups. Uh, I like her brutal honesty. I like that she has a series called Shits I Eat When I'm By Myself. <laughs> And it, I mean, it's, it's like embarrassing stuff, but I eat shit like that when I'm by myself too. And I'm like, yes, yes, she's so cool. So my favorite one, it's like flaming Cheetos and a grilled cheese with arugula and Gouda. It's beautiful. <laughs> I would eat that by myself with somebody in a group in any situation. Yeah. Exactly. She's she's taking the shame out of things that food bloggers aren't supposed to like. Right, right. Great. Number three. Who do you follow on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat that make you happy? Uh, I mostly do Instagram, uh, but my my favorites right now are. Do you follow Jack Chef Jack Lemaire? I it's really some of the best satire our generation has ever seen. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then there's another one called Kimmy Swimmy. And I saw her via Munchies on Vice, and they say that she kills octopus with her bare teeth. Wow. <laughs> Super major badass bitch. She's, I mean, like everything I hope to be in life. <laughs> awesome. Now, number four, what is the most unusual or treasured item you have in your kitchen? So it's not very unusual, but I have this marble rolling pin that I bought at a thrift store years ago for ten dollars and two or three years ago i was in this real freak accident with a semi it ran over my subaru and the only things i pulled out of the car besides myself were my dog my camera and my marble rolling pin so it's been through a lot with me so i'm a little attached to it right now number five name one ingredient you used to dislike that you now love I'm actually in the process of learning to like shrimp. I know everyone loves shrimp, but I just never have. Uh, actually, the restaurant group I work for has a restaurant called Little Octopus, and the chef there makes shrimp ceviche. That's really the first time I've ever felt like, okay, I can do this. I make myself try shrimp a minimum of three times a year, and I'm really glad I did because this was the first time I thought I could get somewhere with it. Is it just shrimp or is it all shellfish that you have a... It's, mostly, it's shrimp and scallops. It's the texture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, <laughs> number six, what are a few cookbooks that make your life better? So probably my favorite cookbook right now and maybe always is Donna Hay Seasons. It's just photographed beautifully. The recipes are simple. Um, they're seasonal. They're just beautiful um and then because i make pie a lot i refer to the four and 20 blackbirds cookbook all the time it's really like the pie bible you can't go wrong with a recipe from four and 20 blackbirds great and finally number seven what song or album just makes you want to cook uh i love the album called yankee hotel foxtrot from the band wilco uh, I don't know. I feel like it just has a good variety. I have a lot of moods while I cook. You know, I go up and down and everywhere in between. And it has a good range of songs that I feel like accompany that. Great. Well, congratulations, Hannah. You have officially survived the pressure cooker. Good. <laughs>